Welcome to Life Picks Relationships, helping you understand and enliven your marriage through the various perspectives and experiences of others who found a way to prioritize what's really important in life. From new love to those that have weathered the storms, let's get ready to take your relationships to the next level with your host, ST. Life Fixers, hope you're having an awesome day. Are you ready to better understand yourself, your partner, and your marriage? Oh, that was such a good episode. I hope it wasn't triggering for anyone. I really went and learned from it and was able to see things from a little bit of a different perspective. If you went through any sort of trauma in your life or your partner or anyone you know you went through any sort of trauma, which probably I really strongly recommend you go back and listen to the entire episode because it explains really well what to do even easier for yourself, how to deal with these triggers, or whether your partner or someone else, a friend is going through these triggers. So you'll get a lot out of it. But for today's marriage picks, number one is respecting boundaries. And I think this is so, 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 so important. Like I always tell people, when I'm speaking to them, especially like for the first time or like in the beginning, they're still getting to know me or like they're starting to share, but they don't like not fully there yet. And like, I'm going to always like push it a little more than, than like what just they're sharing, because sometimes people want to share more, but they just don't know how to, and like, they're scared of what's going to happen. So I always tell people, I'm going to ask you a question, but you could just tell me, you don't want to say, you don't have to answer. I respect the fact that there's a boundary that you don't want to answer. So same thing in everything else that you're doing, whether you're, you know, like your partner says like, Hey, like, no, I can't just do that just because of my triggers and I have to work through them. And maybe one day I'll be able to get there. Maybe not. But right now you are going and respecting boundaries, no matter whose they are, what they are. Marriage picks number three is that when triggers do come up, you want to be supportive. Supportive. You don't want to go and fight the person. Oh, you're so stupid that you never go and let me do it. And I can't stand it. And you don't like that. And I can't do that. And, da, da, da. and every time we see they just, no. Triggers are very painful. People don't like triggers. They, it, it hurts them emotionally. It hurts them physically. And by you just going and attacking them for having that trigger is really, really cruel, if I must say. So you want to make sure that you're being supportive. Like, Hey, what's going on here? What can I go and do for you? What is there something way that I can go and be supportive to go and help you process this trigger? Now, marriage picks number three is just about the concept of triggers. So if you're like, okay, well, I didn't have like a major trauma life, but like maybe there was some triggers. Well, you're going to want to understand this, what these triggers are, and also be like aware of them with your partner and your kids. Like, what are causing these triggers? How come they're always acting this way? So there's three types of triggers. Trigger number one is from an upbringing, something that happened. So let's say somebody who always saw their parents fighting at home. And so they're triggered every time they see fighting or they always got yelled at. And every time somebody yells at them, they get triggered. Or maybe it could even be something different. Like every time like the, in their family, like they couldn't spend money on anything. And then like now any t- they went the opposite way and they just like spend money in times. And now when someone says don't spend money, then they just like, they get very, very triggered of like, no, you can't have that. That's too expensive or something like that. Now, Again, triggers don't have to be worked through and you want to go and process them and do them the right way. So it's not an excuse, but meanwhile, while you're there with them, you want to support them in this journey. That's the first one. So either from an upbringing, the second one is from a trauma, which I think that is the easiest and most clear to understand. If someone did something to you or to someone that you know, and they went through a traumatic experience, there will most probably be triggers from that situation. And the third type of trigger, this is interesting, and you want to go and keep this one in mind, is that is not being heard. As human beings, we all want to be valued. We all want to be heard. You all want to feel understood. And when someone doesn't feel that way, it could get really, really triggering. It's going against the nature of of what we are. I hope you got value out of this. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share with your family and friends so they too can go and understand more about triggers, more about trauma, and how to go and deal with their own and with people around them. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next episode. 
That's all for this episode of Life Picks Relationships. And we have a huge favor to ask of you that will not only support this show, but also give others what they need to take their marriage to the next level. We're striving to have a million downloads per episode by December 31st, 2025. So please share it with your family and friends so they can turn their relationship into an extraordinary one.